Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here today, I fancy making some, yeah, little decorations from cardboard. I'm going to use some bits of, yeah, muslin. This stuff that was actually a Halloween decoration from Poundland. Yeah, and a little bit of, this is some kind of jute hessian ribbon type thing i've got some fussy cut butterflies some fussy cut roses i've got some bits of fabric i've had these quite a while and i don't think i'd use a lot of them but it's odd one or two that might make their way onto these although i don't know i don't know we shall see we shall see on that one and i've got my tim holtz yeah what are these called clipping stickers yeah I always call them, I call everything by Tim Holtz a snippet. I've no idea why, I just do. Yeah, tea bags might make an appearance. I've got my box of tea bags saved by my lovely friend Marlene, who saves me all her tea bags because I never remember to save mine before I put the milk in. I'm just going to fasten some wires apart away that I forgot to fasten up. Don't want them dangling on me while I'm filming, do I? Sorry if that caused a bit of wobbling. Right. So, what I'm going to use for the backing is some cardboard. I've got some cardboard here. I sent my Etsy orders out in cardboard boxes, and a while back, look at that, I had a delivery of cardboard boxes, and they just were absolutely battered. So, they were in such a state when I sent photos, the company didn't want them returning. They just sent me a new batch. Uh, I don't know what had happened to them. So, I've got... Yeah, pack of ten of these boxes. I mean, look, they're not even put together properly. They were terrible. Uh, thankfully, the ones they did send me as replacements are much better. So I'm going to use some bits of this. <laughs> Could have been with ripping this first. I'm just going to rip some strips off. It doesn't matter if I bend them. It doesn't matter what occurs with them. I'm trying to rip down seams first. Sorry about noise it's very noisy but I want it to look all rough and ready oh I've just nearly had a tea bag of lunch yeah that's a new one isn't it nearly knocked my tea bags on the floor so I reckon I've got enough cardboard now there I can move rest out it way so yeah the idea is to get the bits of cardboard and rip some of the yeah some of this loose off I'm not throwing it though when it's coming up in big chunks like this I can that for collage just another texture yeah but this is coming off so easy what i'm I want to do i want to make some pretty small ones and then i want to put some eyelets in and then they can be used as little dangles or i could even turn some into altered paper clips i suppose sorry about all this noise yeah so the thought of just taking bits off and not others that's not happening is it because as you can see that's come off so clean but hey ho, hey ho, that bit's left on. But it, it looks odd now, doesn't it, when everything else has come off? Well, whatever, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I'm very late getting the video done today. This is Monday. I tend to do my videos the day before or on the day. And I've had, we've been busy. Just busy. <laughs> I don't know what we've been busy doing though. Nothing out of ordinary. So I'm just, there you go, that's one, that's one. I think I might make a couple. I'm going to make two out of that, then it'll be two little dangles. Yeah, nothing too uniform. I've been doing that Alice in Wonderland junk journal, it's all so precise. And I didn't intend it to be that precise when I started it, but that's just what's happened. So I fancy doing something a bit random. So... This is today's randomness. Now when I've cut all these up, well ripped them up should I say, I'm going to put a bit of gesso on. I've not done out with gesso for ages. They do have like kind of a natural, uh, well that were obviously a bend, but the rest of it has like, like a natural line, it's weird. And I've tried to tear along that. Look at that. 
I do remember random tearing look quite perfect there, haven't I? Right, I think that's going to be enough. So I'll put the rest of it out of the way. But as you can see, I'm not precise, not <clears throat> no, no perfection in this. So what I'm going to do now is... Oh, that bit's... That's too perfect. <laughs> it's gone. Yeah. I'm going to get some gesso. I'm using my uh, white gesso. Right, this will be a test. This is the brush that I use for the black gesso. Yeah. In my Alice journal. And, oh, that's far too much gesso. Do you know that uh, little one I just threw away? I'm going to bring it back and use it as a gesso palette. I can't find it already. It's gone. Oh my word, this will do as a gesso palette. It's, it's a list. A list of orders I had to get ready. So I just want to put some random gesso on. I didn't want to try and gesso my mat, but that's occurred, hasn't it? Gesso then dries so quick, by the time I get to the end of these, I'll be able to go back and do something else on the first one. So... That's that one. Back to my gesso palette. I'm not covering it all again, it's just random. Oh, we've even left a little bit of brown on there. That's that one. I think that's the first time I ever saw these, I think it was Artie Mays who'd done them. And I just liked them. I made bigger ones than this before. I just thought I want some that I can use as little dangles. These are obviously not all going to be dangles because some of them are a bit big, aren't they? You'd have to be dangling it off, I don't know. A suitcase. <laughs> not a journal. Yeah, there's no black come out, so that black gesso did wash out of my sponge brush pretty well. So, yeah. But I wouldn't have tried it on something where I needed to keep the gesso pristine and white. I can't go priming a canvas. I don't often prime canvases. What I do tend to do, I tend to paint over canvases for my daughter if she's done things she doesn't like. Or just, you know, sometimes it's cheaper to buy when they're in sale. Just any old canvas from b&m or home bargains or whatever especially b&m like after christmas they'll be selling canvases off for 50p huge ones so then it's it uh, works out better to buy the 50p canvas and spend the money on some gesso you get a much better canvas that way i start again a bit perfect with these oh, oh that's the one i was going to use as a yeah, gesso palette. So I'm just going to go a bit more random with some of these. That's better. While I'm talking, I just like start painting them all. That one's got a lot on, but that don't matter. All right. Oh, I think I want to gesso these all while I'm at it now. Like I said, some of those first ones will now be dry. I'm going to come in and get some ink on as well. I might as well do these last two, aren't I? While I've got this part ready. And rather than run off to wash this, I'm going to pause it. I'll just wrap it in a baby wipe. That should keep it uh, nice and damp until I get to clean it after the video. Right, let's grab one. That one little tip off Tim Holtz that it works lovely with his matte medium. And I have tried it with gesso before it does work. Right, so just like that, wrap it up. And then I can go and clean that after. Pop that on the shelf behind me. Right. 
So I'm going to bring, this is the first one I did back in. That looks just about dry. I'm just going to line these up at side. I, mean, I don't know if you can even see them. I'm going to move what was my gesso palette out of the way. I'm going to move that fabric. Do you know I'm not going to use that fabric? That will just be a mad idea, I think. Right, that was the first one I covered. So I'm going to grab... I've got some ink, but I've not grabbed my dauber I use for everything. I've got a piece of this uh, wet and dry foam, as they call it. That's by Ranger. And I'm going to get some ink on with this. Really need to get some ink off. I think I definitely need a new ink pad now for that. There's bits coming off there, that's not good. But on this grungy project, I think I can live with it. What can I? No, I just can't. Sorry, I need to order a new walnut stain distress ink. I think I'm going to use my walnut stain regular. Ooh, ground espresso. That's good. Yeah, I'm going to use some walnut stain and ground espresso regular distress ink. See what occurs. Let's see what occurs first with walnut stain. We can see that pad's in much better nick already. Oh yeah, that's good. Quite grungy, which is what we wanted. Let's go for this one. I'll just ink, put a bit of ink on a couple. Then I'll come in and decorate and while the rest dry. I don't know how many I'm going to do. Depends how much talking I do, doesn't it? But I like that. Put my lids back on. Put those away. So, they're drying. And these ones are going to be decorated. So, uh, do I want any paper on? I think I do. I'm just going to put a bit, I'm not going to put loads of different papers on. I'm just going to grab this one piece of vintage music paper. It's very weird, I don't know what it's for. It says man left hand on that, I don't know what that's all about. What's this paper for? Oh, it's something to do with the film. Oh, yeah, all right. Practicing the pedaling. <laughs> On a piano, I would imagine, not a bicycle. <laughs> that would be good, wouldn't it? Musical cycling. That could be an Olympic sport, that, couldn't it? Yeah. Right. Now, I've got my white edges off now. I'm just going to do a bit of random ripping. I just want a piece. Do I want to ink it? Yeah, I think I will. I'm just going to come in with this foam again, though, to ink it. I don't need. I mean, if you say, some, it can be dear to get them tools, can't it? Just buy a sheet of this stuff. It's fabulous. It's quite stiff, that, on the back. So you can ink the edges. I use the tools because I've already got them. I sometimes think now, if I were going out, would I buy them or would I get something different? I really don't know. Right, let's get a bit of this cheesecloth. It's a uh, cream cheesecloth. I bought it cream off Amazon. So, yeah. Don't have to bother coffee dyeing it. That's a little piece out. And I'm going to stick this on very randomly. I'm in a very random mood today. I need a bit of relief from all that precision <laughs> I've got sticky on them scissors so that will all add to how random I cut this won't it if they're sticking and not cutting nicely don't know how much I need on I've not decided about yay much will be fine so first I'm going to stick this on I'm going to use my Allow for this. I find the silicon based glues don't tend to soak in so much as the water based PVAs. I might just be imagining that though. 
<laughs> there might be no no basis to that whatsoever. I think I do want some else on there. Oh, oh, what's this? What's this? Bit of doily. Bit of doily. Old favourites. Dare I stick a doily on with this glue? I dare. Just really not being very precise today. That, then I'm going to come in and put this on. I honestly don't know. I know it's not too fabulous on fabric, that, so I'm going to go to my uh, PVA for this. Just using some Hobby Craft Tacky Glue. Not even Michelau. Put a few dots all over. I'll lose that because I am filming in electric light and then it might be casting a shadow. And that's yeah. I'm not even laying it out. I want it very random. I'm just gonna grab something to tamp that down with and we go, no, don't want that. Keep <laughs> in mind all the idea about what I'm gonna use. Spoon. Oh, look at that. Sorry if that spoon's a bit shiny. But I find a spoon really good for things like this sometimes. There we go, that's very that's very random and I want a butterfly on this. I think I might not even bother doing roses. These might be all butterflies. Let's grab a few and have a look what we've got. I've been cutting a book up. A book about butterflies and moths. So I've got lots. You see they've got book pages on the back. Oh, that's huge. <laughs> that obviously don't fit, does it? That's, uh, I think that's an Artie Mays one, that. That one's from the book. Oh, I do like him. That's really nice, isn't it? But that one's, oh, that's from book. I think that one's even better. I haven't even decided if I'm going to alter it. I think I might have that one sideways now. I think I like it better like that. And I want some kind of word at bottom. I don't know what word I want. I'll grab one and see. What have we got? Curious, the traveller. A traveller, a butterfly is a traveller, isn't it? Right, because I've got all that, uh, yeah, underneath, I can't just stick that straight on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it onto a bit of card. Just a random piece from my scrap drawer. I don't even know what that is. I'm going to roughly cut round it and do a bit of inking. And then that will be a little bit thicker for nestling on there. Yep, me likes that. Me really likes that. I'm going to get butterfly a bit of ink on as well. Quite neutral, but I just like it. <laughs> My hands just are not working with small items today. And I'm going to use my PVA again. Just the Hobbycraft. Tacky glue it is. Get plenty on. Because it's going through that cheesecloth. So that's going to go there. I'm not going to clip it or anything. I'm just going to hold it a few seconds. I'm just going to plonk the gesso on it. There you go. <laughs> well, I'll put some glue on the back of here. Gesso. Not just for texture. Makes a good door stop and paperweight. I had to put that bottle, didn't I? Hey. Plenty of glue on there. That should have glued that down enough and I'm popping that I want to leave that corner to put an eyelet in oh I do like that I really like that grab the eyelets might even go a bit wild and use a different colour eyelet yeah you are okay 
grab me. Again, I've done it. I thought I were all organised and I've got everything out we're going to use, but have I yet? When am I ever organised with everything on the desk I do? just doesn't happen, does it? So there's my... Oh, and a chomper. I'm going to use the big one. And I'm going to go quite a ways in. There we go. No, I'm not going to be radical. I'm going to... I'm just going to use the dull gold. It's my favourite, what can I say? That's the colour I like. Goes with everything. You can even mix it with a bit of silver. There we go. Oops. It fell out. I've got this on the right settings. Yes, I've got it on my preferred setting. And let's nip that up. There we go. Right, you can do anything you want with that. You can use it as a dangle. You can still use it as, you could use it as a corner tuck. You can use it as an altered paper clip. You can make it into anything at a later date. So I'm going to leave it right there. And let's make another one because I'm on a roll. I like that, really like that. It came out really nice. Let's make one with this one. I did have another one with some ink on. There it is. Picked the wrong one up. Let's ink another one while we're here. It was walnut stain I used in the end one to put that huge butterfly away because I can't see him getting to fly today. I don't think I've ripped any bits of cardboard up big enough. You can just put a bit of ink on as well. Do what you want. I need to burst into song then. I'm thinking of take that song, take that. That's a blast from past, isn't it? So take that to my kids. I don't think they'd know who on earth I were on about. They're really good at making you feel old, aren't they, kids? When you say certain things. Right, that's enough ink for now. We've got three to go at now. So, a bit of music paper. Very random with it. I think I covered that doily up on the other one. I'm not even bothered what way around it goes today. It's only for a minute now. Take that. I did used to like a bit of take that, you know, in my day. <laughs> oh, Lord. Let's get some ink on edge here. No, I'm not even going to bother with it I don't think it needs it. Did they have a piece right size for there? No, but we will have any second. Sometimes you just need a bit of randomness in your life. Right. I'm going to mass make these three. Well, not mass make, I'm going to make them all together. I'm going to glue the music paper down on them all. Then, if I use cheesecloth, I'll do that. I might use a bit of tea bag on one of them. I haven't really decided yet. But to take that, say, do what you want. No am I to argue with take that. I think that one will have the dangly on that side. The eyelet, should I say. Oh, what have I done here? Why is that one going on? I don't like that one on there. At risk of getting a little bit picky. Oh, we're going to have it sideways one to that way. Right? It fit perfect like that, didn't it? Yeah, do you know what? Sorry. Promised I weren't going to do this. But that was just too big. I didn't like it. 
So we've got three to do all together now. Oh, that's another song. <laughs> Name that song. The farm all together now. Yeah. Right. I think I want to stick with cheesecloth because I just really like it. I don't usually put it on quite. It's a bulk kit, but I love the look of it. So I'm going to go with it. More cheesecloth. I'm still going to cut it with these scissors that are a bit sticky. I do want the doily. I'll never make a decision, me, will I? Never make a decision. I want some doily. I'm going to ink the old doily before I rip it up this time. Make my life even easier. I think we need to have another dip in the ink pad. This was just going to be a quick video. I don't know how quick it's going to end up. I think I might finish at four. Yeah. And yeah, we like. Did I glue this with koala or, or glitter or even hobby craft? I've got that stuck already. I'm not putting my pin in. We'll do this. We'll do collab. I'm not too bothered if it seeps through or I don't know. Because again, it's going to get covered up with cheesecloth. Right there. I'm not worried about that. I'm not making any effort to get rid of it. is all about letting go of that perfection so I've got very very precise with my Alice journal and I need a bit of relief light relief from it one more There we go. Right, let's make sure that is unblocked. And I just dotted it all over, didn't I? I want to just get the bigger bottle out when I'm putting quite a bit on. Instead of persevering with this teeny tiny bottle and that's going on again very random and I'm going to use my spoon to press it down so that I don't get my fingers too gluey I don't want to get them so gluey that they're sticking to everything else I pick up basically there we go got some glue on the spoon now and it's pulling it off so I'll just clean that off oh that come off easy who knew you could do this with a spoon I think I want to put a little bit more glue there that one's just that's a little bit too random for me liking that could get pulled and ruin the whole thing there you go then we'll choose a flutter by I've had a white one. I think I want a one that's more colourful now. What have we got out still? Yeah, look at that. Which one? It's another white one. Oh, yellow. Oh, he's nice. Isn't he? I like him. Yeah, we'll have him. And we'll grab another Tim Holtz word. What word should we grab this time? Mm. I lived beneath the open sky. Yeah. 
you will find it. Mm -hmm. Some very strange clippings on these. I've got 25th, Diary of Events, Chance of a Lifetime. I like that, Chance of a Lifetime. I think it might be a bit small for that big butterfly. Need something with bigger text. Exploring. Oh, yeah. They do explore a lot, don't they? Butterflies flying about all over. Exploring. So I'm going to take that off and pop it on a piece of this card again. I think it's parchment card, this. I'm really not sure. I've not bothered inking the word. I'm just going to ink the card. This is getting really grungy. Bring the ink pad back. These have been very random with ink today. Yeah, that's going to be fab. Just ink some of these white edges. I can't think of the name of this book I've cut these from, but it's got lovely thick pages. I want him that way. <laughs> He's changed my mind about which way he's going to be facing. I can do that. it's a woman's prerogative to change her mind I'm going to have that more up that side there we go and I'm going to bring in the gesso there we go <laughs> I'll decide what can you see now just a big tub of gesso on the desk I think I might want to do, oh, look at that, that's a double one. Oh, we don't have one big enough ready for that. But they are a bit smaller, these. Let's bring, there you go. You've, you've done your job, Gesso. Let's bring this in and have a look what we've got. I seem to have cut out a page of really bland butterflies. Oops, sorry about that. What about that one? Oh, yeah. We're going to have him. Is he from a book? No, we don't know where he's from. I want to... Oh, that one. Oh, he's nearly black. We'll have him. Such a dark blue, he's nearly black. Yeah, we'll use these two. So I'm going to ink around those where I do. Press that down again a bit more. Ink these. They're really easy to make these. Really easy. It's quite relaxing when something's this easy. Right, get a bit of cheesecloth. That bit's way too big, isn't it? Perhaps if I cut it in half, it'll do from both. Piece, isn't it? Yeah, that'll be spot on for both of them. That let's get some more glue on. I'll definitely get the big bottle of tacky glue out next time I do put them in some big areas. It's hard to squeeze in that, it's hard to squeeze in. Get my spoon. Got. I don't think I've got a bottle with enough in. So all down to the last few little dregs. What's this I've got? No, I don't have anything. What's only got a bit in? 
carry on with this. You've only got one left to do, woman. Stop searching for noodling. You just have to use two hands to squeeze it, won't you? These bottles are ideal for just getting a little bit out. <laughs> I'm getting impatient. Slowing me down. It's slowing me down. You up. Get that curly round bit there. Can't be bothered to cut it off. There we go. I got blue on my spoon again. I did off last one. Oh, it comes off really easy. And there we go. Side of that one there. And that one there, I'll put the eyelet there on that one, and there on that one, yeah. Might even put the word at the top of butterfly on these, yeah. Doesn't do to do everything the same, does it? Right, what words are we going to choose for these two? Learning to fly, <laughs> that bit too obvious, that isn't it? Wishing, I like the word wishing. I'm going to have wishing, it's also a bit smaller. this smaller butterfly what other one shall we have artist nothing beyond no there's no jumping out and grabbing me on that sheet what's on this one curiously curiously I don't know want that Curiously. There we go. Cut these out. I'll get my little scissors that aren't covered in glue. Couldn't pick that one up then. Oh. I'm very chilled tonight. A very productive day. I had no tea to cook again. I Becca cooked tea. I'm not sure what she cooked. <laughs> that's that's not to say it was terrible. I just don't know what it was called. It was some kind of um, Thai a Thai curry with lamb little lamb meatballs. And I know she had coconut milk in it, and it had courgettes and carrots. And it was really nice. We had that with some rice. It had spring onions chopped up and sprinkled on top. Well, it was one of the Hello Fresh ones. We're on our third week of the Hello Fresh. We skipped a week. That's why it seems to be taking so long. And we will. So I've got one more week left at the thirty percent discount, and then. It's on to gusto. <laughs> We're all are doing at the moment. So they're very similar to Hello Fresh. You get 50% off your first week and 30% off your next three weeks. So yeah, we'll give that a whirl. I think we're just going to work our way through all these uh, food delivery services this year and discover loads of new recipes for our Becca. She loves cooking. <clears throat> Absolutely loves it. She does not want to do it as a job. She wants to be an artist. Or she's getting interested in graphic design, which is good for me. <laughs> Butterfly on, and then when we've punched the holes in these, we'll be just about done. Could again depending on what project you put them in, you could add something else, you could add a bit of bling later on. 
I do think the look of the punched hole will be great even if you're not I'm just going to put the gesso on those two for a second what a punch hole in the yellow butterfly yeah even if you're not uh, putting anything through I just like the look of that eyelet up in the corner so we're doing this corner on this one aren't we that's it You will go in, Mr. Eyelet. There you go. I told you you would. Thank you for behaving. So that's two done. And then these last two. These handles are coming off again. That's your hole in that one. Oops. <laughs> yeah, that one's already got a hole in, Mrs. And that's the hole in. One, two more eyelets and we're done. Do I need to make one more? Is four enough or do I need five? What do you think? What do you reckon? And I think I'll, I've got one piece of music paper left. There's something just telling me to do a fifth. I need to do a fifth. There's a little voice whispering, do another one, do another one. <laughs> yes, I'm going to do another one. Let's see how quick I can make this one. These are so quick to make up. So I want a small piece, yep, yeah, because I've got a small piece of music paper ink that edge up get some ink on here and you can see they're not rigid these but I think that's nice they don't have to be rigid they're a bit more rigid when you put a lot of glue on them some doily left if you can't see much at doily but it's there we know it's there we do the doily with kalal too I think I need to fill my kalal up as well I think I need a glue filling session in the morning for definite Piece of this. I think that's far too much for that. It is half of that will do. Yeah, I want the tacky glue for this. Just dab it all over. Again, a little spoon at the ready. Just plonk it down. There we go. I do like how easy that back cleans off. There we go. Right, one more butterfly. I'm going to use this one that's here. Yeah, it's, it is white, but it's a different white to the other one. It's different. It's not the same white. <laughs> it's my story and I'm sticking to it. But they are my favourite, these. The white butterflies, I do love them. I think I might have him more or less I'm not even at a quirky angle that we've put I'm going to rip that off I don't like it, it's too thin to put the eyelet through 
So we'll have the, the highlight. I've done it again, sticking them H's on where they don't belong. I'll punch my fill and put my highlight in. And then I'll put my word on. So wow, that will click that one, won't it? If you want any of the butterflies, if you fancy, say, some butterflies in frames, if you bob over, I've still not uh, brought it upstairs to show you, bob over to buy me a coffee and I've I've done a little, I've dabbled in digitals. <clears throat> and it's just a 1A4 PDF sheet and I think there's, there's nine different frames with little butterflies in. It's free, so you don't, yeah no charge for that but you have to go over there to grab it right what word do we want now do 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 little things little things i'm having little things if i can get it off yeah little things Bring the bit of card back in. Oh, it'll just fit that way. Yeah. Cut round that. Bit of ink. Glue it on and we're done. There we have five embellishments. You can use them as dangles or not. Use them as... Use them for whatever you fancy. It's very quick and easy. And most importantly for me today, very random. No measuring, no lining anything up. I really needed to make a project like that. I need more glue on the end of this as well. So there we have it, five little butterfly embellishments that we can use as dangles or not, however the fancy takes us. I do like the white ones, really do. I like them all actually. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for joining me and I will see you again tomorrow if this gets up on Monday or later today, if it ends up being Tuesday morning. So thank you very much. See you next time. Bye.